The Mills Police Department reports a 13-year-old girl, Allison Powell, was riding her bike at the intersection of the West Belt Loop and North Robertson Road when she was hit by a semi-truck on June 27. Tragically, Allison died from her injuries. We spoke with one Casper teen, Haven, about his biking habits. That's usually my main source of transportation almost every day if I'm not grounded. More recently, Casper police report a 14-year-old girl was skateboarding in the area of Indian Scout Drive where she collided with an SUV. There's been no update on her condition. Haven tells us how he stays safe on the roads when riding his bike or skateboarding with friends. I just usually pay attention most of the time because I'm more scared of a driver than the car. I use the sidewalk. I use the road if it's like near my house is because I know that area more. But typically I either use the sidewalk if there's not a bike path. Usually I use the bike path though. Casper's walkability is arguable. Bicyclists often use the sidewalk or the road due to the lack of bike paths in the city. And with all the recent pedestrian accidents, the Casper Police Department want to take this opportunity to remind the public that even things like bikes and skateboards are considered vehicles and that all drivers should be paying attention to the road. Watching your surroundings while you're on a bike or a skateboard or anything can really help. It's also in the driver's part, watching, paying attention, seeing if there's bikers. Because at times the bikers don't see them or the drivers don't see them so it plays both parties to pay attention more. Haven had a message for drivers of all kinds in Casper. Just pay attention, watch where you're going. Just be careful, be safe. The Casper PD stresses the importance of always wearing a helmet when enjoying outdoor activities like biking. Julia Conti, Your Wyoming Link, Casper.